this little plastic piece right here, come on in and take a look, that uh, we're all familiar with who have uh, Shimano cranks, this little piece right here uh, seems like a little throwaway item, but it is not. It's a very good indication that you might have a problem with your install if you can't push that down. Now, let me show you here. You see how these splines are? Right here, you can see them very clearly. Of course, they correspond to the splines on this crank right here. Now, an important thing to note is that the back side of here has no splines whatsoever. Now, all the Shimano cranks, road or mountain, are like this. They're not splined all the way through. And what this means is that if you stick this crank arm on here, you can actually have it look like it's splined, but it's not. And then you can just barely get it splined like that and tighten this down, and it would work but you hardly have any spline engagements. You could shear the splines just right off of here, just strip them right off. Now the real danger is when uh, you get the crank right about there and you notice that I can't push this down, all right? I can't push this little thing down. Now you see it went down? That's because this needed to be on far enough for that to pop down into this hole. Now what is all this about? Well, what this means is if your bottom bracket, like this one right here, if it's too wide, if it's way too wide, this will not be able to push on far enough. This is a common problem with bottom brackets that thread together. And the reason for that is there's not a whole lot of meat on this edge right here, okay? Uh, this isn't even one of our bottom brackets. And uh, look at how thin that is. If you start machining that out to make a place to hold it with a tool to turn it, you're having to add to the width of the bottom bracket. Okay? That's where you start running into crank arms not being splined on properly. And because you're going wider, your chain line is going to be off. So all those inter intermediate detents you have on your Shimano really aren't going to work properly because the crank chain rings in space are not in the proper orientation for how the derailleur was designed to move through its very limited motion.